Good, uh, good afternoon. I don't speak Hungarian, unfortunately. Um, I think it's a very difficult language also to, uh, to learn, I think. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank the initiative uh, takers, uh, Hungarian uh, Central Statistic uh, Office and also ÖKA, uh, for uh, organizing this conference, which is important, I think, also on the European level. When I hear the speeches and all the contributions so far, I understand that uh, everybody sees to see the importance of volunteering. And this is, I think, according to me also, important uh, for us as a European, I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, I did something wrong. Yes. Okay. As a European uh, volunteer center, because what we, um, did since 20 years ago is that we gathered all uh, European volunteer centers in national uh, European Union member countries to come together, but also to help uh, organizations and NGOs to build uh, volunteering in their own country. And that's what we are doing now at the European Volunteer Center. So what we are trying to do is to make sure that there will be a volunteer-friendly climate all over European Union, that we also bring uh, the knowledge together and all the experience and that we can share it and so on. I um, have a problem with this. I don't like when it goes like this, but I didn't make the PowerPoint. So, and then the thing is that we try also to work together and to cooperate, and that's what we are also doing about the measuring of volunteering. What I uh, heard also in the speeches is, and that's very, this makes me very happy to be here, of course, also not only uh, to be in the very nice city of Budapest, but also to see a lot of people gathering and sharing this love for the volunteering, because that's actually what's going on. If everybody likes to uh, contribute and likes to dedicate a part of the work field to volunteering, I think it's uh, very encouraging for us as a European Volunteer Center. What we see is, and it has been said in the speeches also, important is I think that volunteering is um, has a huge impact on the societies. The thing is, or the problem at this moment is that we all cherish volunteers and volunteering, but we don't know exactly what's the impact. It's, uh, the, the volunteers, they are not visible, they are sliding away, they are not captured in figures and so on, and this is a difficulty. What we have on uh, information, and this was shown very clear last year within the European Year of Volunteering, is that we saw that the data which were existing, we didn't like them, or we, we thought they are not reliable, they are not comparable. I have, I've seen texts uh, which you see a difference in one country of volunteering between 5 and 40%. It's a lot of difference, because what is it then? 40% when we like the volunteering, or only 5% when we don't want to talk about it. So it's something difficult, and this also stresses the importance to measure volunteering uh, not only at the national level, but also at the European level. The thing is that uh, because we don't have the facts and we don't have the figures, it's difficult to convince policymakers to take volunteering uh, as a ser serious subject, a ser serious uh, object to make policy. Also, when we lack the data, it's very difficult to make a facts-based uh, policy and to make sure what do we need to develop uh, volunteering further, how can we support volunteer centers, volunteer infrastructure, and so on. So we need to uh, also to understand better the, uh, the characters of uh, volunteering. Why do people volunteer? Is it only the people which are a bit vulnerable, which are uh, getting uh, only the competences with volunteering? Or is everybody also the employed force? And I think it's uh, both of them. And it was already said, also stated by, by you, um, that everybody can uh, build up competences and skills through volunteering. But what are the motivations? Why do people step into the volunteering? Why they don't, uh, why they go out and so on? It's important to know to make sure that we can support volunteering in a very good way. And then, uh, and then I think it's also important to, sh to, show, uh, to showcase the value of the volunteering to make sure that it keeps on the policy agenda. We were very lucky last year, 2011, to have the European Year of Volunteering in, uh, in the European Union. Also to have the opening conference in Budapest, which we uh, saw a lot of uh, intentions of policymakers to make sure 
that volunteering is on the political agenda, but we see now a year later, of course, there is still uh, this uh, love for the volunteering and the passion, but it's difficult in times of economical and financial crisis to make sure that volunteering gets the support which it uh, deserves. So if you, we see to the challenges, uh, I'm going to do it like this because otherwise it's, oh no, Oop. oh my God. Okay, that's it. So there are a lot of uh, challenges, uh, in <laughs> challenges in promoting volunteering measurement at the European Union uh, level. First of all, we have the poli policy, institutional and perception challenges. And this means that uh, at this moment, if you look at the European level, but I don't know how it is in Hungary, but in my country, the same goes on. Volunteering is everywhere and nowhere. So when you want to have a support for the volunteers, yeah, you can go to the Ministry of Social Affairs or you can go to the Ministry of Culture, but sometimes in the country, and that's what we see also on the European level, it's sometimes very difficult to match each other. For the European Union, they say we, are only, we have the, only the competence on the cross-border uh, volunteering and on the mobili mobility of persons and of volunteers. And all the other competences on volunteering, they are not they are not very clear where we have to search for it. And this is something very difficult. We asked also at the end of the European year, please European Commission give us a task force for the volunteering, not only during this European year, because then it existed, but afterwards also. So you have a point which you can turn to a contact person, a contact point for the volunteering, but this doesn't exist. So this is a big challenge to see and to grab the right person in the right place to have the support for volunteering. It's a, a problem that uh, it's no, no one-stop shop. We have to search everywhere in the field of education. We have to field in the search in the field of um, culture, environment, and things, because volunteers are everywhere, and this is very clear to all of us, I think. Another thing is that there is quite a lot of resistance for the measurement of volunteering. It's also a challenge. We see sometimes statisticians, not in Hungary, not in Poland, because they already started, and we are very happy that this uh, can uh, serve as an example for the entire European Union. But also, yeah, where are these volunteers? How we, can we catch them? It's not an economical activity, so it's difficult to find them. It's not only the statisticians, it's also the policymakers, which know, which they also look in times of um, financial um, stress, yeah, do we have to support and do we have to invest now money for researchers in volunteering? What does it serve for? Don't we have other things to do? But we think that uh, volunteering is very important and has also this added value on an employ employment uh, policy and so on, social cohesion, that it's important to do so. Another thing, I think it's uh, also we as a volunteer sector, we don't like to be measured too much there is a kind of resistance, because when you measure it, yeah, then we are seen only as something economically, and this is maybe not what we want as volunteer sector, so you see a lot of resistance within the volunteer sector itself, because they think when you start measuring, you only look at volunteering as something which can be a, a utility and, uh, and a tool for an, uh, employment uh, services um, strategies or economical strategies and so on. So, and then we have this technical, definitional, methodological, and other challenges, but I'm not going to talk about it because this will be uh, um, talked about uh, by Lester later on. So this, I don't have to uh, talk about this. There are also uh, opportunities because of course we have this, um, I'm going to see if I'm, another one, yes. We have also uh, opportunities because there are text, European texts, which are supportive for the European Volunteer Measurement Project. We have also the tools, and uh, Lister will talk about it later also. We have the ILO handbook, which was approved and which can be implemented in every national statistic office. Uh, I'm not saying that easy, he will uh, explain it further, but can also be uh, used at a Eurostat uh, uh, level. So all the tools are there, it's only a question now to have the political will to start impl implementing it and to work on it. And that's why we also think as a European Inter that it's important to be a partner in the project because it's a project, EVMP, European Volunteer Measurement Project, is a partnership between 
the Johns Hopkins University, uh, SPIS Italy, and the European Volunteer Center, because we think if we can work together as European uh, organization with all these national uh, volunteer centers everywhere in Europe about stressing the importance of the volunteering and the importance of the measuring of the measurement of the volunteering, then we can go a step, a step further. And I think that Hungary gives a very good example, and this is very good. I already said it to someone that I will take it back to Belgium to say, yeah, but the Hungarians are doing it already. Why we don't do it uh, in Belgium? We have uh, a lot of uh, texts in the European year came out, the European Parliament, the Council of the European Union, the European Commission, the European Economic and Social Committee, the Alliance, and um, also the national coordinating bodies of every uh, member state of the European Union. All they said, we don't have enough uh, sufficient data, we don't have enough measurement on volunteering, so it's important if we want to have a sustainable uh, attention for volunteering, not only 2011, but the years to come, then we need to have this uh, possibility to have comparable data uh, which are gathered on volunteering to see also how fascinated, uh, fascinating it is in uh, different ways. So what we are doing now uh, with, uh, with our um, European Volunteer Center, we are, uh, of course, working with our partners to uh, talk about the importance of, of this European Volunteering Measurement Project, but also trying to convince national member states, but also the European Union institutions to invest a certain amount of money in this to measure the volunteering. And we have uh, a good relation, I think, with the European uh, Parliament, but also with the European Commission. But it's not, we have still have to work to Eurostat, because if Eurostat also starts integrating uh, the volunteering measurement, then it's also something which might be done also by the national member states. On the other side, uh, it's also important that every national member state starts now implementing this ILO manual into their own national statistics so we can showcase and we can say, okay, it's not only Poland and Hungary, Italy will fall, uh, follow, Ireland will, uh, will follow also 2013, 2014. So as uh, the more member states will start implementing or doing statistical research on volunteering, the more it's or the easy, the more easy it is for us as a European Volunteer Centre and with all the national member centres also to uh, implement it in our own national member states. So I think this is uh, important that it doesn't work only. It's something from Europe, but it's also something which is uh, desired by the national member states, and we can uh, work together. And I think if you look at the, we have a website on the European Volunteer Measurement Project. If you go and have a look there, you will see a lot of uh, examples, also good practices, but also knowledge sharing and so on. So I'm not going to talk too much about it uh, anymore because I think that uh, Lester will go more into the detail and also explain why it's important and what are the challenges uh, further from uh, his point of view. So I uh, only want to thank again uh, Hungary for this uh, excellent work and I'm very uh, happy that I can share the first results uh, later on also about the outcome of this research. And I wish you a lot of uh, good luck and of course we take your example uh, back to Europe to, uh, to make sure that we can uh, work further um, on the measurement of uh, volunteering. So thank you very much.